waiting on somebody to show up. This is a season of times we get to see our friends and our family, and I'm so excited for that. And this really fits well with our story for today. So day 17 is about Anna, and it's about having patience. Patience can be really tough, especially as we're waiting for the birth of Jesus. So Anna and the Christmas story. Anna, like Simon, was of old age when her part in the Christmas story began. Many years before, she had been widowed after only seven years of marriage. Can you imagine the heartache as a young bride? Though she could have turned her back on God, Anna chose to seek God and godly community instead. The Bible says she worshiped God at the temple, spending her days and nights there. Anna, like Simon, waited patiently on God's arrival into the world, even in her distress. The word wait in the Bible is a verb. In Luke chapter 2, verse 25, the Greek word for wait means to look forward to or to expect. In this instance, the word means that both Simon and Anna expected the first advent. They knew without a doubt that Jesus was coming, but they had no idea when. Because Anna spent her entire life serving God, she was in the temple on the same day as Simon. Having a close relationship with God, she also recognized Mary and Joseph when they entered the temple with Jesus. The Bible tells us that when Anna saw baby Jesus, she blessed him and began telling everyone about him. Her wait was worth it. So today we're talking about waiting on God is really worth it. So what I'd like you to do in your house, with your friends, with your family, is to draw a picture or have a conversation about a time that, let's be honest, you probably didn't wait so well. Tell your family that story. How did not waiting well make you feel? How did it make others around you feel? Then I want you to think about something else. It's called expectant waiting or ways that you can honor God while you wait. Talk about ways you can wait on God with faith, without being bummed out, and with gratitude and expectation of what God will do. How does waiting in this way make you and everyone around you feel? Is there a prayer of yours God hasn't answered yet? What might be some reasons God makes us wait on him? I love my two friends over here. They say, do you see what I see? And I thought this was a great example of patiently waiting on God. They're friends, they're sitting next to each other and they're giving each other comfort. Our Bible verse for today is Luke chapter two, verse 36 and 37. There was also a prophetess Anna, a daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher, she did not leave the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayers. So let us close with a prayer. God, even when we don't like it, help us wait on you. Give us a desire to serve you all of our days, just like Anna. Amen. Have a great day.